I had an awesome question and a comment from one of our previous episodes. And the comment and the question was, what's the difference between neurological rehabilitation that I keep talking about in these episodes versus traditional PT? So we're gonna cover that today. Let's say you just had surgery. The doctor automatically sends you a script for physical therapy and you say, you know what? I think I wanna try something different, something that's going to require less overall time in an office, less overall time, the duration for recovery, and something that's gonna get me back moving, pain-free, and doing my normal activities of daily living very quickly. That's the difference between neurological rehab and traditional PT. Yeah, it's like clear as mud. All right, let's delve into this even more. So you decide to go traditional PT. Let's back up a little bit. What if you've already had surgery and if you've experienced this? So I want you to nod your head as if this has happened to you. So in traditional PT, you're gonna start off with, they're gonna do some kind of an assessment on you. And it's not gonna be with high tech gadgets at all. It's gonna be with maybe a little plastic goniometer and they're gonna eyeball range of motion. They're gonna do a little muscle testing on you. So there's really not much technology involved on that initial evaluation. Then the daily visits. The daily visits, they're going to put you on a stationary bicycle for 15 minutes, which if you have a low back condition, like a disc problem, that's the worst thing you could do. Have somebody sit because you're just compressing that disc, but that's another episode, another time. So they say, this is if you ask them why you have to do the stationary bike, they go, we got to warm you up. And then you're going to go into doing some stretches. They may use some resistance bands. They may do a little stretching on you themselves. Then you may do a little stimulation, maybe some ultrasound, core exercises. Oh, that's my favorite for the low back. Big time hit. Core exercises has nothing to do with rehabbing your low back. I'll have arguments with the PT any day of the week on that. It's really coming from another muscle in your back. But again, that's another episode. So after that, if let's say you're not progressing, then they're going to pull out their latest thing that they just love, and that's dry needling. Now, dry needling, I will admit, that is the closest to a neurological rehab therapy that they probably have. So what am I talking about here? When you injure a joint, a disc, muscles, let's say you fracture a bone, that's an orthopedic problem. That is a hardware problem. What they miss totally is that you've got to recalibrate, you've got to reboot your brain, your central nervous system. That's the software, if you want to have a computer analogy. They don't get that. And so what happens is that you go and after four weeks or six weeks of care, and you're still hurting. And you ask the PT, why am I still hurting? Why does it still hurt to move? One of the reasons it still hurts to move, because they do a lot of 90 degree exercises instead of having you move in all sorts of different directions. They're not stimulating your nervous system. And let's say that after six or eight weeks, you're still not even better, and they send you back to the surgeon. The surgeon says, I don't understand. I removed the bad anatomy. You should be all better. And I go, maybe we need to do another MRI. Maybe we need to go in and do some arthroscopic surgery. Maybe we need to do a round of PT or worse yet, maybe you just have to live with it. This is the best it's gonna be. That is traditional PT. That is an orthopedic approach. Now, here comes the kicker. There are certain chiropractic doctors around the country that have been specially trained, have the most advanced technology when it comes to therapy, the technology that pro athletes use, major universities use for their athletes, and it's neurological based. So I'm not gonna get in the weeds too much here with the nervous system, but just tell me if this makes sense to you. Our body is full of receptors. We have receptors in our muscles. We have receptors in our joints. We have receptors in our tendons. And when those receptors are offline and not functioning properly, such as after you've had surgery, because nothing's been 
done to stimulate them, they don't send the proper signals up to the brain. You know what the brain does? The brain lowers the threshold for pain. It doesn't take as much. You may move and a brain is thinks there's a threat and it will start to develop a sequence of threats that will cause pain. That's why when you do an orthopedic approach with traditional PT, because they're very stuck in protocol, very stuck. You got to do this and this. And oh yeah, by the way, each session is going to take about an hour and 15 minutes. And again, you're looking at six to eight weeks, maybe longer. Okay, so a neurologically trained doctor of chiropractic and rehabilitation that has the most advanced equipment is going to be able to have your daily sessions at about 30 minutes. And then the treatment, because they have a special direct current neuromuscular electrical stimulation unit, which has been a major game changer for me in my office, they're going to be able to cut down the total duration of care and get you back moving because we're going to be stimulating those muscles and we're going to get them stronger. And that's the only way to do this through a direct current neuromuscular stimulation. So that's the biggest difference. Now let's go into the daily visit. Okay. So would a chiropractor make you get on a stationary bike to warm you up? No, I don't. I don't in my office. And we have hypervolt massage guns and you've seen them. They're all around little massage guns. So my warm up period patient comes in and I start the massage gun in and around the area that we're really focusing on. That's going to increase circulation. It's going to waken up the nervous system, say, Hey, something's going to happen. We're going to get going here. And it's in this, the anatomical area of where I'm going to be working. And then I do the chiropractic adjustment. Now, no, it doesn't have to be a crack. So if you're out there and you go, Oh, I, the thought of somebody cracking my neck or my back or a cracking an elbow or anything like that after I have surgery. No, there's a lot of different techniques. The goal for the chiropractic adjustment is not to put a bone back into place or back into alignment. The goal is to get the joint moving. When that joint is moving, it's firing signals up to your brain. So I want you to think about this. After you've had surgery, you're in a bad cell coverage area. Your brain just is not getting the information up to it that it needs. And so everything down here just doesn't function properly. And unless you've had the right education, unless you have the right equipment, it's just not going to get brought online. That's why neurologically based chiropractors can do post-surgical rehabilitation and quite honestly, do it much better than traditional PT. So if this is something that you think is fascinating or you want more information, send me an email at info at arcfeldchiropractic.com. There may be a neurologically based chiropractor in your area and where you can get help. One more thing, and I would be remiss if I didn't bring this up. Let's talk about home-based therapy. Now, the neurologically based chiropractor is going to recommend a device called BioWave Go. The link is down below. BioWave Go is going to be a little stimulation unit, not a TENS unit, but it's going to help you with pain. And then you can put it on and you can start to do movements. So you can continue on with your active rehabilitation from the comfort of your home in between sessions. It's so much better than traditional PT giving you a sheet of stretches or exercises, which, come on, let's be realistic. Is it really gonna help? Are you really gonna do it? I know some of you may start off doing it, but overall, it's not gonna get the job done. Now, there's a little investment. You gotta be a little financially committed to this. The BioWave Go runs $400. And it's yours. You can use it and you and your loved one's family. It's unbelievable. This little unit is unbelievable. And you get a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it. I've yet to have any patient of mine return it. That's how good this thing is. So take a look at it. Again, the link's below. And if you have any questions, hit me up. And thanks for the comments and keep bringing them on because you do have a choice. There is a better way at defeating pain.